You say, what is your position in your kingdom? I am Ezewai, mother goddess, wife of a thousand deity. From where? In Zan Isha. This one, uh -huh. I call it the blue eye. So they call it the blue eye? Yeah, I came here purposely for you. Oh, you came here purposely for me? Yes. Out! In the name of Jesus Christ. Ooh. Bow to Jesus. On your knees. Now go! In the name of Jesus Christ. It all started when my mother was pregnant. She was somewhere dancing and I was roaming around looking for a means to come to the world like in the form of a baby. When I entered her, labor started. My mission on earth was to destroy men. If I sleep with you, I use your sperm to like take my kingdom and produce so many things. Jewelries, eyelashes, nails, mesh. I use it to produce dresses. I dressed half naked. As an ancient python, I have this power in my tongue that I say things out of anger and they come to pass. I came here on a mission, like the beast in me started manifesting and I was delivered by the man of God. Mother Goddess, wife of a thousand deity. From where? Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean. And what have you done to this lady? So many things. So many things like what? Destruction. What kind of destruction? Especially men. Okay, you destroy men. Yes. How? Please, can you take a step behind? Huh? Can you take a step behind? Why? Heat. Heat? The heat is much? Yes. Okay, you will take a step behind. Okay, now speak. You say you destroy men. Yes. How? I seduce them. Uh -huh. After doing that, I go to bed. And what happened to them? I use their spams. For what? For so many things. Like what? The jewelries she put on. Oh, the jewelries. Yes. And what become of the men? Frustration. Setback. What caliber of men are you talking about? All kind. Men of God. Uh-huh. Married men. Married men. What yes. happened to their marriages? Destruction. What about their businesses? Confusion. Stagnation. Setback in their businesses. So for how long have you been living in her? <laughs> Since when she was still in her mother's womb. Okay. Do you know, she has gone to so many places for deliverance. Okay. Yes. So one day I made her mad. You make her mad? Yes. Uh-huh. What I've other evil have so you done her. to her? Mm. You say you have invested much in her. Yes. What kind of investment? Mm -hmm. She has rejected 14 sultans that has come for her hand in marriage. And who is the cause? Me. You are the cause? Yes. Okay. So, what are the destructions you have caused her to do? I've caused her to render so many men useless. Okay. You yes. caused her to render men useless? Yes. Uh-huh. And if you are a man and you have a pregnant wife, once I sleep with you, that's home. What happened? You take the spirit home and it will go to your child. It will go to the child? Yes. So how many have you done that to? So many, uncountable. But this time around, you see what she's putting on? What is that? This one. Uh -huh. I call it the blue eye. The, they call bite. it what? Blue eye. The blue eye? Yes. Okay. Can we see the blue eye? Uh-huh. All the Ogbanjes that want it, uh -huh. that use it. Okay. And if you are putting on this ring without you knowing the meaning of the eye, or neither the bangle nor the chain, you are invoking something else in your body. Okay. So they call it the blue eye? Yes. Uh-huh. What else? What about the other one? This other one. She loves walking in the night. Yes. She loves, even when she was pregnant. She keeps walking in the night. She's an ancient serpent. Okay, ancient yes. serpent. Yes. Okay. So, 
You say, what is your position in your kingdom? I am as a wine, mother goddess, wife of a thousand deity. Okay. What have you done to our family? No marriage. Uh huh. Frustration. Setback. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out! How many powers do you possess? She's the wife of a thousand deities. Okay. Where are the powers? Mm. Whatever she wants, she gets. Uh huh. Yes. I have a seductive spirit with me. Okay. Yes. You as a lady, you don't beat your chest on me concerning your man. Because okay. if you do. And what happened? I'll make you to know that the man you are beating your chest on is nothing but a wife rat. She has powers in her tongue. Yes. She said things and they happen. Okay. She gets angry. Nobody can beat her. Okay. She has the power of a beast. I came here purposely for you. Oh, you came here purposely for me? Yes. To do what? Enough is enough. To do what? I want to bring you down just as the way I brought others. Okay, you want to bring me down? Yes. How do you want to go about it? In the name of Jesus Christ. Out! In the name of Jesus Christ. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus Christ. Me. But you bow before me. Jesus. Now, go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bow to Jesus. Bow in the name of Jesus Christ. On your knees. Bow to Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. Remove it and put it down. Put it down. All the evil powers, put it down. Remove the rings. Remove the ring and put it down. The bags sont enlevés. La couronne vient d'être ôtée. In the name of Jesus Christ, put it down. Regardez ce qui se passe ici. Les citateurs. Remove the bits. Elle est en train d'enlever tout ce que le diable lui avait donné. The other ones on the leg. Now go, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go and never again enter her on the knees. Bow to Jesus before you go in the name of Jesus Christ, you powerless demon. In the name of Jesus Christ. Nous pouvons ôter les montagnes. La mer rouge peut être divisée devant vous. Par le nom de Jésus Christ. Now go. Fléchis les genoux par mention du nom de Jésus Christ. 
Tout genou fléchi, vous pouvez le voir sur votre écran, téléspectateur. In the name of Jesus Christ. Alors, elle vient de confesser que Jésus-Christ est le Seigneur. Par sa délivrance, acclamé pour Jésus-Christ une fois de plus. Ok, she's free. Thank you, Jesus, I'm free. Thank you, Jesus, I'm delivered. Thank you, Jesus. Citizens of heaven, my name is Rosaline Anam Tendong, and the person next to me is my lovely mother. I call her my priceless jewel. The problem that brought me here is the spirit of lust, and I was also on a mission. It all started when my mother was pregnant. She was somewhere dancing, and I was like roaming around looking for a means to come to the world, like in the form of a baby. And I entered her. So when she went home, labor started, and it, she went through stress, difficulties to bring me out. So I used her as a, a medium to come through her, through her baby. So as to come to this world to accomplish my mission. So when she gave birth to me, at the age of three, I slept and a man came to me and took me along with him. So my body was left in the house and people thought I was dead. Yeah, and they were all crying. And where I went to, where the man took me to, he said, I brought you back here so that you know where you're coming from and you know your mission that you are supposed to accomplish. So when I went there, I saw old women and on the other side, there were young girls. They were all bowing to me at, and I was very little at the age of three and I was asking, why are they bowing down to me? He said, because you are the queen and they have to respect you. He showed me an ancient serpent they showed me my her throne. I sat on it at my little age, and I had the staff of authority with me, and that's how the part entered me. So by me being there, I heard people crying and crying. So I heard my mother calling me, that where am I going to at my age? So I had to tell uh, the man that, it's like that I'm going back because my mother is calling for me. I need to answer to her call. So that's how I came back myself. They were already preparing me to, so that they can go and bury me because they have already wrapped me with clothes that they wanted to go and bury me. So as I came back, my mother was very happy having me back. Nearly every day, about two, three snakes, we come to my class and especially to where my teacher is sitting anytime she beats me in class. So from there, the spirit of anger entered me. I can fight five able young men at the same time without getting tired. And if I don't see blood, I will not stop. And if they divide that fight, I will go unconscious. So my mission on earth was to destroy men. If I sleep with you, I use your spams to like take to my kingdom and produce so many things. That when others use, they can be initiated through it without them knowing. Go to bed with you. I will take your sperms to my kingdom. And I use it to produce jewelry, eyelashes, nails, mesh. I use it to produce dresses. You as a married man, if I go to bed with you, when I take your sperms, even if you go to the house and you have a pregnant wife, once you meet with her, the spirit will enter the child. And if your wife is not prayerful, her delivery might lead to oppression or death. I dressed half naked. The way I dance, a man will look at me just once and will not even... The only thing that will be ringing in your head is, how can I have this girl? As an ancient python, I have this power in my tongue that I say things out of anger and they come to pass. So I had spirit husband, which is a woman. So she got married to me spiritually. So in the physical life, I went and bought the very ring and put on my finger. I was using it to destroy men of God and also do fake miracles in churches. And once I do that, I succeed in bringing the ministry down. I look at their weaknesses and I attack them from their weaknesses. Yeah, like for example, if I visit a church 
And I would like sit and be monitoring the man of God, the way he's talking, if he's real, if he's fake, or if he has lust for women. Or if I'll... I finally succeed in like sleeping with you, that's how you become like your ministry will be destroyed and you come from zero to zero. I came here on a mission, like I said, I came here on a mission. Uh, my mother told me concerning the program that the man of God wants to see all the youth. So I took that like a bridge so that I can come here and destroy him. So when I came here, I was sitting right behind and I was not happy sitting behind because I would not like see the man of God talking. So I left there, I sat there, I was sitting right there and he was talking, I was monitoring his movement, his preaching, though he's a man of few words. Yeah, so I was, he was talking, going up and coming down. I was, yeah, and I was like looking if I can see any weakness or his weak point so that I can use it to like destroy him. But I couldn't find any. In the great master Jesus Christ. Amen, le Seigneur Jésus Christ. And I was very angry, and at that time I was so aggressive, and I couldn't like express my anger to people because they were not my main issue. My main issue was the man of God himself. Yeah, so I went outside as, as if I want to make a call, and I went and received more powers and my staff of authority. So when I came, I was able to enter the power room. So and I was saying to myself, I was very angry and I needed him to come to me by himself. So I was like wanting, how can this man get to me so that I can like devour him like a lion? The beast in me started manifesting by shouting and making sort of sounds. And I was delivered. By the man of God. No more spirit of anger. I don't have that urge for masturbation. I feel like fulfilled. I have peace of mind now. I can even sleep and close my eyes without like thinking of going out in the night. As for my spirit, my husband, I had her picture in my phone. After my deliverance, for me to check the phone, I couldn't find the pictures again. The pictures have disappeared. My life before was to cause destruction and so many others, but I thank God today, God has delivered me from that spirit, and I know my deliverance is permanent. Acclamons le Seigneur Jésus Christ. Citizens of heaven, as I am called, Madame Grace Ebay, the Baby beside me is my, my lovely daughter. We came here for this youth camp. When I saw the, the announcement online, I told them that we have to come here at Ark of God Ministry. My daughter started troubling me right inside the womb. So the day that I was supposed to put to bed, the labor was not easy. And when she was three years old, one day she just slept until we thought that she was dead. We called, uh, 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 the, uh, the other neighbors came. We wanted to go and bury her. We started calling her name, call her name. Call. I have a name that I started calling her from bed to do. I started calling her and call and call and call before she opened her eyes. This child has tormented me a lot. I have passed through a lot because of her. She used to dress sometimes half naked and go out in the night. I would, I would talk and talk and talk and talk and talk to no avail. Sometimes she would fight with the military men outside there. When I would sleep, I would only hear the door call, 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 call. I say, yes, who is that? They would say, we are gendarmes. Open the door. They would open the door and I would just saw her the way she has fought until there is no way. They would just only say, mama, take her and when she wake up in the morning, she will tell you what is wrong. Because of all this, her, her life, it made me to bring her here when we hear this program. 
As we enter the power room, the man of God touched her. That's how she was saying things after her deliverance. Now she is fine. Now she will no more dress half naked. She will no more go out again. She will be a very good girl now. My advice is that to married men in particular, what you're looking outside is what you already have in the house. Because the thing you go outside to look for is what will bring you down and what will bring your destruction. My advice to the viewers and everyone listening to me, and when you go to the market, anything you buy, you just have to plead the blood of Jesus on it and meditate on it. Because some of these things are from the marine kingdom. They use it to possess innocent people. And before you know it, you are already like doing things that you were not doing before. Pregnant women, please stop late night. Late night is not good. Always cover your pregnancy with the blood of Jesus. My promise to God is that I've promised to serve him for the rest of my life because it has not been easy on me. But I thank God that I'm fine. I feel relieved. I feel light. I feel fulfilled. At least I can now like dance and sing to the glory of God. Celebrate Master Jesus Christ. Celebrate the Seigneur Jesus Christ. Nuestra hermana junto a su madre glorifican al Señor porque Dios la ha liberado de un espíritu. Ella dice que todo empezó cuando apenas era una pequeña, cuando se dio cuenta de que ella no era una persona normal. Dice que cuando tenía tres años de vida, ella murió, se quedó dormida y cuando quería despertar no podía, pero alguien le tomó de la mano y le dijo que le siguiera y la llevó a un reino al que ella no conocía, pero para sorpresa de ella es que la gente lo adoraba, la gente se rendía ante ella y ella preguntó por qué la gente lo hacía. Y le dijeron que en verdad tú no eres la persona que el mundo ve, tú eres la reina del río, la reina de las aguas, que tú te infiltraste entre los humanos, que es, eres una persona, o eres un ser que nosotros adoramos, dijeron esos hombres. Y cuando ella regresa, dice que escuchó la voz de su madre, la cual estaba llamando su nombre. Eso es lo que la hizo despertar y evidentemente su madre también corrobora esta misma versión, que cuando ella tenía tres años, durmió y fue la hermana mayor de su madre la que descubrió que estaba muerta. Y cuando la, la llamaron eh, durante mucho tiempo, es cuando ella pudo despertar. Dice que su vida ha sido una vida de desastre, de, destru, de destructora, y de seducción, dice que entraba de iglesia en iglesia para buscar los puntos flojos de los hombres de Dios. Cuando veía que tú eres un hombre de Dios flojo en espíritu, un hombre de Dios mujeriego, acababa eh, buscando manera de entrar en tu vida y destruirte. Y de esa manera también lo hacía con hombres casados. Una vez que veía que tú eres uno de estos hombres que va por allá buscando otras mujeres a pesar de lo que tienes en casa, Buscar manera de acostarse contigo, tomar tus espermatozoides, llevarlo al reino de ella. Y con esos espermatozoides, ella hacía muchas joyas que mucha gente hoy está vistiendo, muchas mujeres hoy están vistiendo. Y de esa manera, muchas almas fueron poseídas, muchas almas fueron destruidas, porque del reino de las tinieblas, ella sacaba ese poder. Dice también tenía una autoridad en sus labios, cada vez que... Con ira declaraba algo, eso acaba sucediendo. Si te maldecía, eso acaba sucediendo. Pero cuando su madre escuchó que había aquí una acampada juvenil en el Ministerio de la Cara de Pacto de Dios organizada por el Servo de Apóstol John Chi, decidieron venir al Ministerio de la Cara de Pacto de Dios. Y una vez que llegaron en la habitación de poder, ella, antes de eso, perdón, ella dice que buscó manera de seducir o de buscar puntos flojos en el Servo de Dios Apóstol John Chi lo cual ella no pudo conseguir, pero cuando tuvieron la ocasión de pasar en la línea de oración, ahí el siervo de Dios, Apóstol John Chi, oró por ella y de aquel tiempo hasta hoy, su vida ha cambiado, ese espíritu por completo ha dejado su vida. <tose> 